you have new partners that are joining your firm all the time. We just had a long conversation around, uh, you know, kind of reinventing foundation capital over the last 10, 15 years. And, and part of that's been bringing in new, incredibly talented, you know, uh, partners and investors that see the world differently. When you bring on a new team member, you know, as an investor, is there any advice that you give them? And what advice would you give to someone that's just starting, you know, say next week at Foundation Capital if you had a new team member joining? Yeah, this piece of advice I actually absorbed from one of my uh, mentors here at Foundation, Bill, who's one of the um, one of the co-founders of the firm. He didn't call it this. I came up with the name for it later, but I call it uh, uh, Bill's Enlightened Procrastination. And what I mean by this is... Uh, as product people in particular, uh, and certainly former operators, I think we are rewarded for being quick to make decisions, to to judge, uh, to sort of d- decide sort of whether something works or doesn't, and that and that you know that serves many positive, you know, processes in in a in a startup environment. But I think in in the venture ecosystem, oftentimes um, it's in your best interest to not snap to a to a judgment, particularly to the negative uh, side of the spectrum, because uh, things change. Um, founders find their way through the fog. Um, you know, the market shifts in a little way. And so it really, I think, does pay you to to be a little bit more um, flexible in your thinking. And, you know, for those of us who are kind of in the J end of the Myers-Briggs uh, spectrum, I have to kind of force myself to not rush to the J but be a little bit more P perceiving um, and uh, that's advice. And then I think the only other piece um, that I think is true in our business is, is, you know, don't, don't fear the partner that makes a bad investment decision. In other words, a decision that doesn't work out, but, but you really need to fear the partner that keeps you from investing in the ones that turn out to be huge winners. Uh, because I think in, you know, we all have, have, have seen this in the startup ecosystem, like, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that don't work out, but the ones that do are the ones that turn into the 100x or 1,000x winners. And so it really hurts to have one of those you know, 1,000x winners in your not portfolio. And so I think, yeah, you'll make mistakes. Uh, don't worry about the mistakes. Just keep looking for uh, those extraordinary uh, founders who are going to create you know, generationally important companies.